Hey guys, and welcome back to Z3Cubing. Today is my 200,000 subscriber live stream. All right, I hope that worked. I didn't clear my throat before I started, so <clears throat> uh, that's a little bit better. Uh, I think I am live. Um, yeah, I can see my own stream over there. That's weird. Uh, I managed to get my intro to work live, so that's kind of cool. Uh, that's weird. I can see a version of myself from like 30 seconds ago. Say zucchini if you can hear me right now. There's like snow falling off the side of the house. Um, everyone's saying hi, so I think they can see me. I can see me, so I think we're good. So this is my 200,000 subscriber live stream. That's <laughs> just such a huge number of subscribers. Like I hit 100,000 about a year ago and 50,000 more than a year before that. So it was like a year from 50 to 100 and then another year <laughs> up to 200. So that's crazy. It's like multiplying every single year by two. Um, maybe we'll be at 400,000 next year. I don't know if there's that many cubers to keep subscribing. Um, oh yeah, speaking of 200,000 subscribers, I passed Crazy Bad Cuber in subscribers. He was like one of my favorite cubers when I was first starting doing this. Everyone's saying zucchini. Uh, that's really cool <laughs> that i have passing all these people. I also me myself and Pi a long time ago. Those were some of my favorites back in the day. The only one who still had me is Red KB, so that's cool. He's still quite far ahead. Anyway, yeah, 200,000 subscriber live stream. Um, yeah, it's starting. We have merch right here, Z3 Cubing hoodie. I forgot the little sticker, but there's a little sticker too. That's really nice. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty nice hoodie. It's definitely a little bit small. You should probably order a size bigger than what you think it should be. But the link to that will be, it's not in the description, but if you go to the link in the description, which is my giveaway video, it was a recent announcement video that I made, um, there is a link to the Teespring link to buy all these things. Um, somebody just gave two dollars. I didn't think that was possible. Awesome. Somebody says a new sub. They love my videos. Happy 200k. Yeah, awesome. Um, as I was saying, yeah, merch, pretty nice. I also have, we can take the hoodie off. It's getting a little bit hot in here with all these lights. We also have a shirt, which is like the same thing. It just has my logo on it. Uh, taking hoodie off live. There we go, Z3 Cubing. So yeah, those are not linked in the description, but linked in the video's description that's in the description. So click on that down there. I also have a giveaway going for 200,000 subscribers. I'm giving away $200 worth of gift cards to the Cubicle. They went ahead and sponsored well, $200 worth of gift cards to their own store. So that's really awesome. Definitely go check out their store. Definitely go check out the link down in the description. I have all the information about that and you can enter from the video down below. But yeah, watch that after the live stream's done. For now, we're gonna be doing things. Let's take a look at chat. What is chat saying? Wear the hoodie. I mean, it, I have like lots of lights right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it gets really hot in here after a while. Um, da -da -da -da. It's moving so fast I can't really see. Everybody's just saying hi. Somebody gave 70, 79 euro cents. So that's about a dollar, I think. That's pretty cool. Um, how many lights? I have three lights. Each of them has four light bulbs inside. I wonder, if I were to reach up here, oh, it just got a little bit darker. I wonder if I can show you my light bulbs. Ta-da, they're LEDs, so they're not very hot. A little bit hot, actually. I should probably put that back. Ah, this was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's 12 lights total, four times three. Um, six by six main. I honestly don't even remember. X man something or other. Um, wear a cubing shirt. This is a cubing shirt, isn't it? I don't really have that many other. I guess I have national shirts. Uh, happy 200 subscribers. Yeah, 200 subscribers. Shout out. Shout out to the person who said shout out. <laughs> um, pull up the nine by nine to celebrate. I have a 9x9 right here. Uh, do we want to do a cool 9x9 pattern? I'll show you my favorite 9x9 pattern. My favorite big cube pattern in general. While I keep talking about it. Somebody said, same person still saying shout out. What lube do you use? Lots of cubicle lubes. I like lubicle silk. Um, this pattern takes a little while to do, but I really like it. Um, what are people saying? Highest layer cube is the 9x9. Uh, I would like to get something like a 17 by 17 or the 19 by 19 if it ever comes out. They announced those two at the same time, but it's been years. 
still hasn't come out. I'd like to get one of those, but I just haven't so far. I want to get the next biggest one once it comes out, like the 19x19. 19 19. Um, seriously, people are talking so fast, I can't even see. Can you do a Z3 pattern on your 9x9? Actually, I probably could write out the letters Z, Z3. Probably not super good resolution, but might look kind of cool. But this is my favorite pattern. The super flip. Pretty simple pattern, but it looks awesome, especially on really big cubes. It's going to take another minute. I'm just doing the same thing over and over again a few different times on each layer and then going through all the layers. Do do do. Cat. Uh, I don't know if the cat can come. Maybe. I doubt it though. Uh, it's so hard. I have to like lock onto a comment and like commit to it and like watch it as it's scrolling up the screen because there's just so many of them. Uh, Jperm was in the chat. Really? Jperm? Yeah, that was bad. What's your PB on nine by nine? On three by three? 10 seconds on 3x3, three three. but yeah, here is the super flip. Actually, I have a thing where I can do this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We have a nice super flip pattern. Every single edge piece is kind of flipped over. That looks really cool. I think I can also do that. Oh, yeah. Now it's me and the table at the same time. I don't know why the table should be... Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, Let's go back to this guy. There we go. Like, I see so many good patterns, or good questions in the chat, but I just, like, can't really read them <laughs> because it's going so fast. Um, do -do -do. What 17, 17 by 17 do you want? Well, there's only one of them out at the moment. Oh, yeah, there's only one of them out at the moment, the Yushin, I believe. It's probably gotten a little bit cheaper since it first started, but... Um, somebody just gave another two dollars. That's cool. Oh, well, there's multiple donate. Well, there's more donations. I didn't see any of those. Um, five dollars. Congratulations. I bet you won't shout me out. Well, I think I'm required to shout you out if you give five dollars. So that's cool. Uh, the record breaker PhD. Uh, we have Slimma Gaming. Five dollars. Would you recommend the Angstrom Vault 2? I actually do have that cube, I think. Or for me to stick with my stock bulk too. Um, if you're good at lubricating and setting up cubes, then like a stock cube is pretty decent if you just like can lubricate it yourself and set it up just how you want it. But the Angstrom is definitely a good choice too if you want one that's already set up. I mean, if you have the cube already, there's probably not much point in buying an already set up version of it. I don't know. Both of them are good. I kind of mix the parts around and uh, change with the magnet strength. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, take out your biggest cube and do a solve. Well, this is my biggest cube in terms of like n by n, biggest n number. But if you want my biggest cube, I made this joke in my last Q&A too. It would be this cube. So we're going to do a solve on this because somebody who donated $5 told me to. Will you do a white hoodie with a black C3 logo? Well, I don't know if that would work. I'd have to like invert all the colors and see if that works. Because like I have, I guess I could make the shirt white and the Z3 black. And then the eye would also have to be black, and I don't know how the colors would look, but maybe? I don't know. I'll have to try it. That was $2 from Ultimax Cubing. Um, I can't scroll down any further. I think that's it. Solve your hardest cube. This is my hardest cube. No, it's my biggest cube. Um, if I do this, can you see... Oh, you can see that. It's a little bit too big of a cube for you to be able to actually see it usefully. Also, this camera is really bad, so let's just move it back to this. Uh, let's get the timer going. Now we can do some inspection. Somebody told me to solve this cube, so we're doing it. Three, two, one, and go! Oh, I have my uh, desktop timer over here that just started going. Uh, because I started my stack mat and it's connected up to my computer. Um, I feel like I'm like shaking the whole table. Where the heck is that edge piece? Okay. I think the best way to do this is have it just against my body for support. I could do it on a table, but it's shaking everything. So that's convenient. Everyone's saying solve your hardest cube. I'm gonna not do that, because that would take a while. Also, I think I probably even can't solve my hardest cube. 
I guess hardest would mean the cube that I am unable to solve the most, so. You know, I think Laser Monkey it was did a bunch of like speed solves on this giant cube and he was able to do it in like sub 20 multiple times, which is ridiculous because I'm like almo almost over a minute by this point. And I just got an OLO I don't know, that's fun. But yeah, could you imagine solving this cube in like 20 seconds? That's ridiculous. You gotta have some like crazy, like big cube finger tricks or something. I don't know. That's a cool video. Um, it's hard to muscle memory, even in A-perm. 121.49. Uh, if I go back to this one, yeah, 121.49. So I solved that for you. Um, I think that's everything. Can you solve clock? I can solve clock. Um, do you want me to solve a clock? I have a clock right here. Here we go. We're gonna solve some clock. Uh, I'm gonna scramble it up first. This is the one WCA event that when I'm practicing it, I don't use official scrambles like from a timer, just cause it like, it's so annoying to do the exact right number of ticks every single time. Don't solve a clock, somebody says. What do you guys think about clock being a WCA event? Personally, I think it's a little bit more of a ridiculous event than feet would be, and they're removing feet for some reason. I don't know. I'm not sure if any of them, either of them should either be events, but I don't know. Maybe we should just keep both of them because they've been in here for so long. Somebody just gave money too? I don't know... Will you shout me out? I want to see if you will. Uh, yeah, I already did. Ultimax Cubing, $2. And another guy also donated $2, but I can't see his message because it's hidden underneath the little bar that YouTube put in front of it. So, once somebody else donates, then I can see what you said, uh, Cuber Hunter. Um, yeah, YouTube's, like, interface and everything has been kind of ridiculous lately. I'm using the old version of their live streaming setup, they have a new version that's apparently not very good, so yeah, the old one's a lot nicer, but uh, there's still problems with it. <laughs> Is it snowing in Colorado? No, but it did snow like a foot and a half uh, earlier this week, and it's been like below freezing constantly for like the last week. Uh, anyway, we're solving clock, so inspection. Uh, okay, I got it. I haven't practiced this for a while, but I think I'll get it. Go up to the top, that one. Do, 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 that one. <laughs> I'm not very good at turning clock quickly. 18.98, no, that's not very good. My official average is around 14, I think. Like, I finally got a sub-15 average, uh, which was the cutoff time for nationals for a while. I finally got it after nationals, and then they changed the cutoff time to 13. So now I'm just like... Sad. But yeah, I actually, here, uh, if I do this, I actually solved it. I didn't get a DNF. That's impressive when it comes to clock. <laughs> um, solve your cat. I don't know if I can find the cat and get, a, get her down here. Um, solve a Kilominx. I don't want to solve a Kilominx. Do I have a Kilominx? Um, oh, I know where my Kilominx is. It's way over there. I'm not going to go get that. <laughs> um, Clock is the worst event. I mean, once they remove feet, I think clock will objectively be the worst event. <laughs> Not that they should remove it necessarily, but yeah. Um, do, do, do. Near cube. Eh. Okay, that's boring. Um, so... I was gonna say something, I totally forgot. Have a look at this thing. That's all you get to look at it. That's a cool mod, that's a video coming up. Um, if you guys wanna know why I have like all of these cubes right next to me, it's not because I specifically did it for the live stream. I'm making, um, well I was making a few videos before with a bunch of my cubes. I'm making a bunch of videos in advance cause yeah. Um, but I'm actually gonna be making a new collection video coming up soon, so. Uh, I think my last collection video was beginning of 2018. I actually made it in 2017. Um, so it's been like two, yeah, just about two years now since I made my last collection video. And that video got really popular. It has like three million views or something ridiculous. 
and I used to make a lot of them because they always used to get popular, but after making that one, it was just like so exhausting, and uh, that, that was a difficult video to make. I was sitting in front of the camera just talking for like five hours straight, and yeah, this next one is probably going to be longer than five hours straight, just talking. So that's fun, but yeah, I'm, uh, we're in the process of setting everything up for my collection, and so part of that is that I have pretty much my entire collection sitting right here under the table next to me, which is convenient for our live stream. I figured I'd just do that. But yeah, I'll probably spend a few hours setting everything up once I have, once I'm done with the live stream. Um, do you recommend the Gain 356i? That's a good question. I want to actually do some solves on the Gain 356i because... I mean, it's a cool cube, and I don't know. Maybe we can try and do some online solves and see if anybody else who's watching can join me. Would you recommend the GoCube or the Gan 3 6 i They both have their advantages and disadvantages. If you're, like, serious about speed cubing on it, then you pretty much can only go with the Gan because it's a pretty decent speed cube. <laughs> it's funny because I've been speed solving a lot on the uh, 3P2-6XS. I think that's what it's called. There's so many cube names, I can't remember all of them. But yeah, so much on the excess that this cube now feels kind of bad, even though it is actually a pretty decent cube for being electronic. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try this out. Um, let's get my phone out and see if we can do that. Cube station. All right. Um, I think if we go ahead and click on this right here, yeah, this is my timer, so the two solves that I did earlier showed up on there, so that's cool. Um, I think if I... Yeah, I'm going to go back to the main screen for a second. Uh, I can't figure it out. Where is it? There it is. Wait, actually, no, I need to move this. I have, like, a whole process. I probably should have set this up better ahead of time. And then I can click on this, and then I can move this over here. You guys can't see any of this. And then, I can click on <laughs> this, and then you can see my phone screen. Okay, cool. So we click X right there. Oh, I don't want you to see the actual phone. Um, hmm, okay. Uh, Z3 cubing. So I have the cube connected, and the battery is charged. That's awesome, because last time I tried to do this, the battery would not charge. Um, personalized training. We do... Algorithm scramble. I'm just gonna make sure this cube works before I go ahead and try this because I haven't used it for a long time Basically since I made the video. It's not a super convenient cube to use. The battery doesn't last very long Which is one thing and I don't know It's not oh yeah finish calibrating start now. Oh no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I meant like calibrate it. Ah How do we calibrate? I don't know personal training <laughs> it thinks that the cube is all scrambled. Um, okay, we have a cat. Bring in the cat. Okay, we'll, we'll do this later. I'll figure this out later. <laughs> We're going to solve the cat. How just, I just, just walk forward. I don't know. <laughs> She's not happy. Okay. Cat's making an appearance. Oh. She's not happy. Oh. Kitty, kitty. Oh, she left. <laughs> okay, well, we had a cat for a split second. <laughs> I wonder if we can get her back. <laughs> she ran away. Oh, I think she's gone. Okay, well, that's all you got to see about the cat. Back to the phone thing. Let's see if I can figure out this cube. Um... Personal training. Uh, <laughs> I accidentally pressed like that it was all done calibrating, and so now it looks like it's totally scrambled on the app here. Um, <laughs> what's your cat main? I don't know. I think it was that cat right there. How does anybody know how to reset the Gan 56 i once you told it not to reset? Because it looks like that right now. How much time does it take to be sub-15? I mean, it took me like six years, so I'm probably not a very good way to uh, judge that. <sighs> Settings. My device. Reset. <laughs> okay, I'll disconnect it. 
and then I'll connect it again. Oh, it's still all scrambled. What if we do personal training algorithm scramble? Ah, it's still all messed up. Does anybody know how to do this? Anybody, anybody, anybody? Try scrambling it again. It just, it just shows up scrambled. Scramble? No. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody know how to do this? Okay, this is one of the disadvantages of the Gantry 6i. The app is definitely significantly worse. I have no idea how to use this. Uh, it's all like translated from Chinese too, so I mean, all, a lot of the translations aren't very good. Restart the app. Um, let's go ahead and try that. But yeah, GAN is really, really good at making cube hardware, probably one of the best in the world, but not that great at software design. Um, personalized training, algorithm scramble. Okay, here, reset cube. Reset cube. Reset cube. I'm clicking the reset cube button, nothing's happening. Okay, let's move back to here. Reset cube. Reset cube, I'm pressing the button. I'm pressing the button, it's not working. Changer. Reset. Do I have to like, do? <laughs> this is obnoxious. Okay. Um, maybe try feeding the cube to your cat. I think that might work. Um, I'm going to try this one more time, and if that doesn't work, then I'm giving up on the GAN. Last time I tried it, it worked fine. It let me reset and calibrate it and everything, but I don't know what's happening now. Reset cube. I'm pressing reset. It's not working. I want more cat. No, I think I think she was mad. She, she ran away from me. Um, <laughs> solve it virtually. There is a virtual cube on here, but that sounds very, very painful. Um, anybody, like, I imagine there's a menu somewhere in here that I can do, like, a manual reset on it. But I'm not really sure. My device. Connected. Disconnect. Um... Do that. Bear with me for a second. I'm determined to make this work. Reinstall the app. Well, like, I'm restarting the app and it's, like, starting over again, but... Okay, it's connected. It still thinks it's scrambled like that. And... Um... What if I do a different thing? Reset cube. Reset cube! Reset! Reset! Okay, well, I guess the Gain 3 to 6 i does not want to cooperate today. I was doing solves on it yesterday, and it was working fine. Let's try the GoCube instead. Um, one minute. The app is loading. Oh, do you have to log into an account? I don't have an account on here. <laughs> what, do you, what do you use for thumbnails? Like making a thumbnail? Um, I take a picture and then I crop it in and everything and then I uh, use paint.net basically with a little bit of Photoshop sometimes. Username, oh gosh, oh gosh. I already have an account, I log in. Do I remember my username? That is a question. I think it's Z3Cubing, hopefully. Oh, that's email, oh gosh, gosh. Accent, cubing, .com, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost done. Everybody's saying Lego Boy Z3. Yeah, it was in the video, but I think I have made a different account since then. Um, log in. The password is invalid. Uh, what if we do that? Log in. Hey! Okay, so the GoCube is actually working. Let's turn this on. Oh, that was the intro. Ah, that was the intro. Let's turn this on. The GoCube is ready and connected. So, sync display, continue. Um, yeah, see? This, one, this app actually works exactly how you want it to. 
Uh, I'm a pro cuber. Hi, cuber. Solo. Uh, continue. All right, let's do a scramble on this and just see how it goes. So yeah, the GoCube software is definitely significantly better. The Cube hardware, I mean, I guess objectively in terms of the electronics and everything, it's probably better, but <laughs> the actual turning of the cube is definitely not. Um, yeah, if you just want like a simple experience, you don't care about like any fancy cube turning or anything. I don't know what I'm doing on this solve, by the way. Then the GoCube's pretty nice. Definitely a better experience overall. Although I can't recognize colors on this thing. And infirm, of course. Ugh. 18 seconds. We should play again and get a better score. Time. Does anybody else have a GoCube? Like, can you do this online? I think you can. When I did the video, they had like a demo mode because not enough people had had the cubes yet and so it was like fake people online but I think now you can actually do like real people online so if anybody else has one of these and do you know how to like join me if I click the online battle thing then you should go ahead and do that because that would be fun <laughs> I've been practicing 3x3 a little bit recently not a whole ton ah I put the F12's pair in the wrong slot uh, at least I got lucky on everything else and so yeah, I'm a little bit more in practice than I normally am. 15.8, that's that's not bad. 75 moves. 75 rotations? Okay, there is a little bit of uh, mistranslation on the app there. I don't think it's translated, but I don't think I did 75 rotations. Um, main menu. Anybody else? A bunch of people are saying that they do have the cube. So if I do... Oh gosh. Where's the button that I should press? Ah, my camera turned off! It's not supposed to happen. Oh no, I have to get the camera back. One sec. Uh, window, video, window capture, properties, remote live view, window. Yes. No. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> Let's go to this guy. Oh no, but then I can't look at it. Okay, well we don't have my face for a while. You have my hand still. <laughs> um, let's do this. And then we click on this, and then we click on this. And then... Yeah! I'm back, okay. So my camera just decided to turn off for a second for some reason. Uh, but we're back, we're back. Um, there we go. Uh, okay, how do we race somebody in real time? Is it... Here, I'll move back to this one for, real quick. Is it this guy? Nope, it's not that guy. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Pro. Anybody know how to do it? <laughs> I haven't used this app, honestly, since I made the video. Solo challenge. Is it challenge? I think it might be challenge. Okay, let's move back to this thing. Continue. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go to the super expert mode and then find me a match. So if anybody else right now, oh, it's sideways. If anybody else right now is on their cube and they click super expert, then I think that's how it works. So join me, match finder. Um, I'm on my go cube, then join me. Okay, we found Samuel. Is Samuel in the chat? Is Samuel a re real person? I've never done this against a real person before. What is happening? What is this? Oh, is this a pattern match mode? Oh no! <laughs> I didn't, I thought I was solving the cube. Ah, uh, uh, how do you get to that? How do you? Is that not right? Oh, is it upside down? Oh, there. Oh wait, one of them's wrong. Uh, green, green, green. How do I get a green? Oh, I lost! <laughs> you beat me by like a split second. Okay. <laughs> face match. I was on face match mode, not actually solving. Um, let's do that again. That was kind of fun, actually. Find me a match. <laughs> Anybody else on the face match mode? 
And anybody else know how to get to the actual solving mode? Um, pro cuber, hard mode. Okay, yeah. I'll do that once I finish this. But for the time being, I'm having fun with this whole face match thing. Finding a worthy opponent. Isabel Adams. Are these real people? Like, are they on the actual thing? Okay, uh, so it's the white side that I have to do it on. Okay, so orange, orange, yellow, red, yellow, orange. Oh, this is stressful. I haven't practiced this before, ever. Uh, yeah, I won. Yeah, 16 seconds, 40 moves. The other person only got a few of them. That's cool. Back to matches. Okay, so let's go to back. Let's go to this one. Nope, that one. Pro Cuber. I think I have to solve the cube first. Oops. Um, and if anybody else wants to race me, then we're going to do it right now. Albeit on a cube that's not the greatest in the world. Yeah, is, is anybody who's actually like solving the cube right here actually on the chat? Because that would be cool. Continue. I'm going to go to Expert, find me a match. Match finder. Searching the earth for a worthy opponent. Do not rotate the cube. Square one main. I still use the X-Man Vault Bolt because they haven't come out with a decent square one in a long time, at least not that I've heard of. So yeah, I magnetized it. They need to make more magnetic square ones. I don't know if they have. We have Owen Owen. Is Owen Owen in the chat? All right. Uh, maybe. Scramble your cube. I guess you guys can also play along on a real cube. You guys have the advantage, though, because <laughs> you actually have a decent cube. Okay, waiting for my opponent. I did the 21 moves. Do we have Owen Owen anywhere? Okay, 15 seconds of inspection. Do we have to wait until inspection ends? Or can we? I think we can just go. 3, 2, 1. I, I rotated the cube before time! I lost! Oh no, I thought it was- I thought you could start whenever you wanted! Oh no. I was- that was a decent scramble. I was going for it. Okay. <laughs> That's sad. I legit- I guess that was the GAN cube where that happens, where you can do it before the timer starts. But apparently on this app, you actually have to wait all 15 seconds of inspection. And I just messed up a VFIRM. That's depressing. Um, okay, so let's try that again. Find me a match. <laughs> Anybody else want to join me? Do hard mode? I like expert mode. Volt V2M, is that a thing? When did that come out? I want one of those. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, magnetic square ones are awesome. I I think I was the first one to actually do a magnetic square one, so we have Joseph. Oh, that was a U. Anybody else uh, following along with the scramble and doing it on their own cube? Okay, so we have to wait the whole 15 seconds of inspection. That's good to know. It's also a very easy cross. Um, all right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Uh, I'm going for it. I'm gonna win. Got that OLL in the shape firm. 15.01, that's pretty, actually really good for the Go Cube. Um, I did beat them by quite a bit. Okay, so have we decided, is this a real person or not? I think it is. Kind of impressive that we can have all these people all at once. Somebody told me to do it on hard mode. I'm not really sure why, but I'm going to do it. Um, I beat you, someone says. Were you actually the person on there? I don't know. <laughs> Favorite perm? I think you mean permutation, and I think by that you mean PLL. It's not called the perm. We have... Melly, O-O-O, 
All right. F2, you. I want to see someone's name who's like the same name as they have on YouTube on here. Like I have. <laughs> Gonna do one or two more solves and then maybe be done with this. Waiting for opponent. All right. I'm a faster scrambler. Does that mean that I'm gonna win? I think it does. <laughs> All right. Five, four, three. I do not have a plan for this cross, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh, that was pretty good. Um, where's that piece? Oh, okay. There it is. Again, color recognition on this thing is not easy. I gave myself a dot OLL, that's great. And 17.38, I beat him again. All right, um, and okay. I'm gonna go back to matches. Is there another fun mode on here? Like scrambling, somebody told me to do the scrambling mode. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We'll do this one or two times and then I got it, got it. Uh, oh, we can't, can't be a super expert yet? That's sad. Find me a match. We have the beginner mode. Shuffle strength, weak. Oh, we have to, we have to scramble it? Shuffle strength, strong. Oh, do not rotate the cube? Oh. Pfft. Somebody keeps telling me to solve world hunger. I, I, I don't think that's how it works, but I, I see your messages. <laughs> Can you do a square one parody tutorial? It's hard for $2, says, oh, the same person, Slimma Gaming. Um, I mean, you pretty much just do the algorithm. Find somebody who does it slowly, too, and just follow along with them. What is this? Oh, uh, oh so we're just doing moves on the cube? That sounds easy. I won? <laughs> okay. I wish I could go on super expert mode immediately, because that was really easy. Oh, expert, super expert. Okay, we're going on hard mode now. Um, can you do a square one pair tutorial? No. Favorite cubing moment, says Cuber Hunter. The same people are keep donating over and over again. That's crazy. Uh, for $2, I don't need a shout out. Well, I already shouted you out, Cuber Hunter. Favorite cubing moment. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> make Lego Boise 3 merch for the OGs, says Weeko the Cuber for $5. Uh, put that back there. And then make his Discord and Lego Boise 3 merch, says the same person. Why is Lego Boise 3? What? <laughs> um, can we race? Uh, we can do a big, like, like everybody race in a minute here. Um, I'm going to do this one more time, because that was kind of fun. I wonder if these are actually real people. I haven't seen anybody conclusively say that it is them. Oh, I'm destroying them. Oh, yeah. 9.14 seconds. 3.39. New high score. I think I have to be 4 TPS to do the super expert mode. So, yeah, for now, let's just go back to this guy. This chat needs a moderator. Yeah, probably true. Um, it is kind of crazy, but I don't know. Oh, Lego Boise 3 for the OGs, man. Says the same person who's been donating $2 over again. Did he just send that message twice? He's like repeating the same thing with $2 every time. This is real money, isn't it? I don't really know, but I think it is. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, somebody says Pyraminx. Pyraminx, we're going to do a single Pyraminx solve. OK, uh, I have to figure out how to get my timer to switch to Pyraminx. I have to find my mouse first. Where the heck is my mouse? There it is, category. Let's do like one of all of the WCA events. We have Pyraminx. Let's open that up there. Let's move this down to here. Okay, so we have the Pyraminx scramble right up there. I'm gonna start my actual timer. Okay, so everybody, if you have a Pyraminx, go ahead and do the scramble up here, get your timer out. 
and then I'm gonna do a scramble, and then you guys in chat, um, do the do the solve. Yeah, do the thing, do the solve, and see what you get. Okay, uh, so B R. I was just distracted because the guys keep is still donating two dollars over and over again, saying he's gonna go broke. Um, inspection? Is that how this works? Inspection. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're inspecting now. Oh man, I forgot how much I hated Pyraminx. I mean, like, I like it as an event, but like, I'm really bad at it right now. Three, two, one. I don't know how to solve this thing. Do do do. I don't know what I'm doing, but I just solved it in six seconds. Huh. That's fun. <laughs> got a 3.03. .03. Yeah, that was a really easy scramble. Got a 12.32. Got 8.4 point something, 2.6 point. So that'd be quite a few people. 1.4, 3.9, 3.6, 4.2. 3 okay, no, everybody beat me. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get my timer to work because this is supposed to be doing something different. Trigger timer, stack mat. Couldn't find the stack mat. That's sad. What if we do this and this? You know, using the stack mat with a computer is, is painful sometimes. It just does not ever want to work. I think if I do this though, Then I can get it to work. Prisma. Prisma is a pretty decent uh, cube timer. It's really, really, or not really, but like it's kind of outdated now. It hasn't had an update, or at least I haven't updated it forever. Does it work? Oh, it works. Okay. So we have a new here. But yeah, it works pretty well with the stack mat timer and everything. I actually have, if we. Man, my screen is so big, it's so hard to find the mouse. I actually have a cable right here that's running into my computer so I can time it like remotely for my computer. It's pretty cool. Timer. Let's find the timer with the mouse. Okay, what cube are we gonna do next? Let's do skew. I'm much better at skew than I am at Pyraminx nowadays. I'm gonna beat all of you. You should shout me out. I said, oh my gosh, he <laughs> donated $20, $20 two times. Uh, I, I, I'm not exactly sure how to say your name, Wiko the Cuber, Wiko Wiko, $20, say, hey, make a Discord, I bought the merch, and this is the last donation, chat with feet? Cat with feet. Um, I don't think the cat would enjoy that very much, and he said that two times, okay, it's just like duplicating every single message two times, I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if he's actually donating $20 multiple times. Will you shout me out, I've given over $50, ha. Huh? Yeah, we go the cube. I think everybody can see you in chat. Um, yeah, okay, so we're doing skew. I think people have already done the scramble. Um, B, D. Uh, wait, which way is B prime? Yeah. Wait. Oh. What? Why is there a D in the skew scramble? How does that work? I think it's... I think on the... Oh, wait, no. The way I do it is... Hmm. 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 Okay, Prisma has terrible skew scrambles. That's what we learned today. Um, I don't think I did it right, but let's go ahead and solve it anyway. Uh, three, two, one. Like seriously, whose idea was it to put a D in a skew scramble? Like that's not how skew works. Five point nine nine. Okay. Um, actually. If we go back to here for a second, and then we go to here, and then we go to here, and here, and then we click on this, and we do that, and we move my face up, and we move the skew up there. Oh, maybe. And then, this is a little bit complicated. <laughs> uh, we do that. Now we have a real timer. And now you can't see the scramble. Oops, that was a terrible idea. Let's move myself back down there. And back down there. And now we can turn it on to skewb. And we can do that. Okay, so here's a real skewb scramble that doesn't have D moves in it. Everybody follow along with this one instead. Um, 
do a blind two by two. I feel like I tried to do a blind solve in my last live stream and it went terribly. But two by two, I, uh, that sounds about reasonable. Okay, so does this have inspection? No, it doesn't have inspection. Okay, um, I'm gonna do this on yellow. I don't know, this isn't a great scramble. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, CS timer isn't connected to the computer. I forgot about that. 5.53, okay. 5.8, 7.6, 4.7. Okay, so some people beat me. Let's do that one more time. I think I need to do, how do I get a new scramble? Next scramble. Let's do that one more time and then we'll move on from skew because the only timer that I have that works with my stack mat doesn't have skew uh, scrambles. Everyone says make a discord, discord. like I, I honestly have hardly ever used discord. I don't know what the point is, but maybe I should. <laughs> Everybody is saying that. Is that what people do nowadays? Um, okay, skew, inspection. We're gonna do this second scramble right here and then we'll move on. Um, uh, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> Worst cube solve in history. 7.6. No, you didn't see that. Okay, we're going on to the next scramble. And we're going to pretend that one didn't happen. Ow. Um, L, R, B. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody got a two second solve, a one second solve. No, I don't believe you. Okay, we're doing this one. This one looks easier. Okay, let's go. Um, three, two, one, go. Uh, no, I hate this case. No. Ah! Ah! Okay, you, no, no, I didn't get a time on that one. No, we're going to the next scramble. Okay, um, we're gonna do this, this. We're still on, we're still on the last solve. We haven't gotten two more scrambles or anything. Nope, that, had, that didn't happen. Um, red, I like red. Okay, let's go. It's gonna be really fast. Oh yeah. First layer into a U-perm. That was not a plus two or anything. Uh, 4.2, yeah! What did everybody else get on that solve? 2.14, yeah, right. What's your skew, man? This is the Moyu Aoyan with the weird concave tiles. I don't really like the weird concave parts, but it, like, the skew itself turns better than the wingy. 1.5, yeah, right. 1.1, you guys are ridiculous. Um, 3.8. Everybody's still faster than me. <laughs> okay, where's somebody who's slower than me? Anybody? Anybody? Everyone is getting 4.1s. 5.46, okay, I beat that person. Um, let's go back to Prisma. Let's do some three by three cells maybe. If I can find where the heck Prisma is. There we go. Like I said, I have been practicing 3x3 a little bit, just because I want to be not terrible at it and not averaging the same thing for four years on end. <laughs> B2, B2, D, R, D, U. Everybody do this 3x3 scramble. I think you can see it. A little bit small, but. Somebody got a 20. Okay, cool. At least I beat somebody. Um. When will you announce the winners of the giveaway? So if you guys haven't been here the whole time, I had a few things I was talking about earlier. Uh, obviously the live stream is the one thing which you're seeing right now. Second thing is merch. So we have hoodies and shirts and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you click the link in the description, it brings you to a video where I talk about all this stuff. And so you can go into, link of, into the description of that video and click on the link for the t-shirts. And there's also a giveaway. So watch that video and it gives you all the information about the giveaway. Cubicle is sponsoring $200 worth of gift cards for 200,000 subscribers, so that's cool. And everybody's already finished with the 3x3 solve that I haven't even looked at yet. So yeah, the giveaway will be announced a week from yesterday, so next Friday. Anyway. Um, all right, I got this. So 15. Uh, where's, no, I messed up on the cross. Oh, mm, mm. You guys didn't see that. Okay. We didn't start the solve. <laughs> uh, 
Not very good at these solves under pressure, I guess. <laughs> Everybody's getting 13s and 12s and 3s, apparently. Yeah, right. Okay, we're going to do that again. Um, I got a PB single, 0.21. Okay, we got a new scramble. Okay, um, what's the scramble? It's on the screen there. It's a little bit small if you have like a phone or something, but it's there. <laughs> um, okay. Sub 15. I'm gonna keep doing this until I get sub 15. <laughs> this one's gonna be it. Okay, three, two, one, go. Uh, cross to F2L's transition is by far my weak point. <laughs> this one's gonna be it. 12! Wow, that was surprisingly fast. Uh, yeah, sometimes I just do a solve and it has a good look ahead. Usually I don't though. Uh, anybody, everybody's still beating me with 10 second solves. Okay, somebody got a 14, somebody got a 13. At least I'm beating a few people. <laughs> um, somebody got a minute solve, that's respectable that you actually went through with that after I finished that solve. <laughs> Somebody else donated $5 saying I made a subreddit, r slash z3cubing. How does that work? Aren't I supposed to make that? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do another three by three solve. Maybe we'll do an average of five. We'll do an average of five on three by three and then be done with the whole solving thing because, I don't know. I got a 12, I might as well make that into a decent average. Solve your dog. What's your 3x3 three three main? This is the GAN 36 xs the one that I recently unboxed on my channel. It's actually really good. I love the customization and everything. Uh, inspection? Yeah, I do have inspection on this, so you like tap the timer and then it opens up inspection. This is a pretty nice scramble too, I think. And go. <sighs> Cross to F2L. Well. I don't know what I'm doing. I've actually gotten pretty decent at look ahead on F2L. Not amazing. E-firm, 12.8, I got two 12s in a row. How often does that happen? I normally average like 14, but that's pretty good. I guess I haven't actually timed myself since I've been practicing recently, so maybe I just improved a bunch. I didn't realize it. Let's do a couple more solves. Maybe do all these solves and see what your average of five is and compare it to me. <laughs> still, people are still getting like tens and stuff. So, yeah. What's the Rubik's Cube timer app that you use? Right now on my computer, I'm using Prisma. I also sometimes use CS Timer when it decides to work with my stack mat, but today it's not deciding to work with it. And then on the phone, uh, I used to use Five Timer and Chao, Chao Timer. I don't know how to say that on iPhone. I recently got a not iPhone, so I don't really know what I'm using nowadays. Um, yeah, solving, cube. That's what we're doing. Distracted. <laughs> Also a pretty decent scramble. Uh. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I forgot the OLL. I started doing the OLL from the wrong orientation and then I realized that I was doing it wrong and then I did it wrong again and yeah. <laughs> 16.16, that's a pretty cool time though. We can still get a good average of five though. I'm determined for this. Are you going to Nats 2020? I'll talk about that in a second, but Nats 2020 is not happening because there's a North American Championships thing in Canada. Um, talk about that in a second. Let's finish this average of five first. I must get sub 13 would be cool. I think that would be a PB if I got a bunch more 12s. Inspection, there we go. Uh, do, 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 do. and I don't like that a whole ton, but I'll deal with it. Thirteen point eight. Okay, if I get one more really decent solve, this could be a PB average of five. I haven't, I guess, practiced or timed myself since I've been practicing, so 
I guess it makes sense that I've gotten a little bit faster, maybe. Maybe I'm just getting lucky because I'm doing it on stream. He should solve the dog. I don't think my dog would, like, fit over here. Uh, reset. And start. Sure, people are all still getting, like, two-second solves, though, while I'm doing this and being impressed with my 13s. Um, I'm going to solve it like that. Okay. Uh... Ooh. 13.5. Pretty good. It says it's a PB average of 5 in there. I probably don't have my real PB average of 5. Um, 13.43. Okay, I'm going to look that up real quick and see if that's actually a PB. Um, how do I find this? Got to go to this app, and I got to go to... C3 cubing. What? I'm not connected to the internet? I hope I'm connected to the internet. I mean, I'm streaming. <laughs> Everybody's saying 2x2. Two two. I did promise to do a 2x2 two two blind solve, which sounds like it's going to go horribly, but might as well try it. I don't know if that's my PB. I know my PB is 13 something. I don't know if it's here. I'm determined to find this out. Drive. Uh, C3 cubing. PBs. 3x3. Ah, 13.15. So if I hadn't messed up like a couple little things in that average, it definitely would have been a PB average. But not quite. Um, okay, we're going to do some 2x2 two two because somebody asked to. Um, I made a Discord join and I'll give you the owner. Okay, I will. Just wait until this is done. <laughs> uh, I almost started doing a 3x3 scramble on a 2x2. Two two. That would not have been productive. Oh, the camera turned off again. No! Um, I don't know why it just keeps randomly turning off. And I don't know how to turn it back on. No capture. Okay. Nope. No capture. Okay. No. Oh, we have a black screen now. Um. Oh, yeah, I fixed it. Okay. I don't know why it makes you do all that crazy stuff to make you fix it. But we're solving a 2x2 two two now. Okay, inspection. And we're doing yellow. And this looks pretty easy. Three, two, one, go. Uh, soon. Not used to the way this 2x2 two two turns, because I haven't done 2x2 two two forever. 5.2, that was slow. Okay. 2x2 uh, two two blindfolded, because somebody asked. Um, uh, F2. Uh, 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 F2. Okay. Uh, how do you solve a 2x2 two two blindfolded? Okay. I don't know. I'm going to try it, though. This looks like a pretty easy scramble. Oh, I need to start the timer. Duh. <laughs> so that goes to... So... Sa M J M I Sa M I <laughs> And then that one needs to be twisted. So it'll be like that. Okay. Um doing through bind corners version. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I think that's solved. Yay, I did it! First try, two by two blindfolded. Not very impressive, but like, pretty happy about that. Um, okay, we're done with solving. That's ridiculous. Uh, what are we gonna do now? 
Um, that took a minute and four seconds, probably longer because I started doing it now. Alex, we have milk now, says somebody. That's, that's a very nice video. Solving a cube in 15.000 seconds. Um, <laughs> solve a super floppy cube. I don't have a super floppy cube. I only have the floppy barrel version of it. Do I have? No, I don't have it with me. Wait, do I have it with me? I might. What's that? Oh no! It rolled off the other end of the table. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, I see it. It's over here now. Ugh. Floppy barrel. It's pretty much the same thing as a super floppy cube, but yeah. Pieces are like stuck together. That's funny. Got my super floppy cube ready. I don't have super floppy cube scrambles. <laughs> Q and A, Q and A, Q and A, says somebody. Uh, yeah, I get if you guys want to like ask questions, that's basically what I'm doing at this point. Just talking and answering things that you guys are talking about. Uh, ooh, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Let's see if I can switch this over. Ooh. Woo. <laughs> that's fun. Uh, okay, so I scrambled it. Now we're gonna solve it. Yay. I don't remember how to solve this thing. But it looks pretty easy. <laughs> oh. Did a checker pattern on it. Oh, oh, I gotta do that. <laughs> okay, I remember how to solve it now. After the middle of the solve, 19 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time because that was really slow. Nationals, yeah, right. Okay, so Nationals is not happening this next year, 2020, because there is North American Championships in Toronto, Canada, which I will hopefully be going to. I believe it's June 26th, 28th, that weekend, uh, end of June. So quite a lot earlier than nationals normally is, but yeah, so correct me if I'm wrong, but nationals is not happening and instead North American championships. So yeah, hopefully I should be there. Uh, it's, I don't know how I feel about that necessarily because I'm sure there's a lot more people who can travel within the United States than people who can go within Canada who wouldn't have been able to anyway. Probably fewer people total overall, but still it's kind of cool. Go somewhere new. Okay. Oh, that's not very well scrambled. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Ugh. This cube does not turn very well. Twelve point nine. That's probably still really, really slow. Can you do a face reveal? You know what? I think I can do a face reveal. And now, dun dun. That was a face reveal. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, nationals. Canada, no nationals. North American. Uh, if you have any other like general Q and A stuff, I guess that's kind of what I'm doing at this point. I would like to do some more like cool challenges. I saw the two by two blindfolded. I solved my giant cube, I solved the clock, I guess that's not really a challenge. Um, but I'm kind of just looking at chat now. Do you guys have an idea of what to do? Solve the super square one star. Do I have that with me? I do, it's right here. One of the few cubes that I have never solved before and I do not wish to ever solve. Skew blind, Oh, I'll do that in a minute. Uh, can you switch the face cam with the hand cam? I mean, I guess once I start doing this, maybe I can. So, do I really want to scramble this? I'm going to have to, like, <laughs> take it apart again just to get it to be solved. But, like, how do you even go about solving this thing? Like, how I mean, like, come up with some weird commutator that will swap pieces around? Like, that doesn't do anything. I don't know. 
Scramble it. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, what did I do to it? I was trying to put it back how I had it. No. It will forever be scrambled. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay, the challenge is now. Can I solve it from the two moves that I did to scramble it? <laughs> uh, it's looking doubtful now. Okay. Oh, I solved it! Yeah, okay. That's as much as we're going to do with the Super Square 1 Star. Um, do checkerboard. It's kind of cool. Can you do a checkerboard on a Square 1 Star? I've, I've never heard of that before. 17 by 17 multi-blind. Um, unfortunately, I don't have multiple 17 by 17s. Somebody gives 20... 20 something. I almost said euros, but I'm pretty sure that's not a euro. <laughs> uh, 20 currencies. Um, everybody's talking about Wiko or this guy who's donating. And I'm not sure. Yeah. Somebody says skew blind. Oh, yeah, skew blind. That's what I said I was going to do. Uh, it's hard to. <laughs> Be focused on looking at chat and doing things and doing everything at once. Um, how do you solve a skew blindfolded? All right, that's going to be the question. I'm going to open up CS Timer. Maybe. Uh, 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 where is my mouse? Okay, we're going to have a skew scramble. The scramble is R prime. B, L, R, L prime. B, R prime B. Okay, so how do you solve a skew blindfolded? I'm not really sure, but we're gonna try and come up with a decent solution. I guess I'm looking at it, so I should have the timer on. Um, I don't know, what do we do? You know, honestly, one of my favorite things to do when I'm solving a weird cube blindfolded is to just give up on the scramble because it looks too hard. <laughs> so that's what I think I'm going to do right now. And do a different scramble. We have R, U prime. Uh, wait, L, U prime, R prime, L, R, B prime, U prime. Okay, we're going to start the timer now before we look at it. Um, this looks like a much easier scramble, I think, I hope. So I'm going to turn it like that. Ooh, I'm gonna, how am I going to do this? If I do R, and then it turns it like that, and then it turns it like that, and then it goes down to there. Maybe that's not the best way. Huh, so we're going to say we do U, like, R prime U to solve that piece. R prime U solves that piece and it puts this piece down here. <laughs> and then we have to do R prime again and then U R prime. So R prime U, R prime, U, R prime, U prime. I don't know if I can trace the centers through that. And theoretically I would go through and like look at one center and then trace all the way that it goes around and then I do that with another center I do that with all of them and I'm not sure if I actually want to do that right now but I guess I could so R prime U R prime <laughs> this is hard R prime U R prime. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm doing this backwards. I am doing this backwards. Okay, so theoretically it would be like this, 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 and then I would have traced it all out and figured out that I had all these centers like this. Yeah, no, skew blind is hard. You pretty much have to get a good scramble or actually have a strategy, which I don't. Mega Minx OH. I've seen a few people say that. Should we do a Mega Minx one-handed? 
I guess I was planning to do some cool like challenge things. So maybe we'll do that. I think Mega Minx is the only cube that I did not bring over here. Uh, never mind, I got one. Yeah, a bunch of people are saying Mega Minx OH. Either a bunch of people are saying Mega Minx OH or the same person is saying Mega Minx OH over and over again so that it looks like a bunch of people are saying it. Giga Minx OH. I've done that before, I think, but that was hard. <laughs> And it took a long time. The problem with a lot of these challenges is they just take forever. The cooler the challenge, the longer it takes. Um, uh, where is it? Mega Minx. I'll show you guys the scramble so you guys can follow along too. I keep also forgetting to start and stop the timer. So there we have the scramble. Mega Minx one handed is the kind of thing that only takes a few minutes, hopefully. Doing a Mega Minx scramble correctly, on the other hand, that's hard. <laughs> this looks like a relatively short Mega Minx scramble. Did I do it correctly? I did not do it correctly, but we're going to pretend that I did it correctly. Giga Minx! Everybody saying Giga Minx! Spamming! Ah! Idea, do a solve while looking at the chat. I mean, that's basically what I've been doing. Um, disqualified. Actually, no, if you miss Scramble and Mega Minx, it still technically counts. Okay. Uh, wait, I should do inspection first. Um, you can inspect with both hands. Um, three, two, one, and go. So we're going to put, I'm going to do some Mega Minx solve commentary. We're going to put that edge piece in, and then we're going to put the next cross edge piece in. And then we're going to put the other next cross edge piece in. And there we go. We have the cross or the star or whatever you want to call it. Okay, now we have the purple and green pair. And we're going to put that right in there. It's set up all nicely already. There we go. We have the green and red pair, which goes over on the other side of the cube. And now we have to find the green and edge, red edge piece, which is up here. And then we pair those up in a nice way and get those to go in. Next time, looking ahead to the red and blue piece. This one goes right here. The edge piece is right over here. So we set that up and then we put it in. And then we have the yellow and blue F2L pair. So we set that up and put it in. And finally, we have the yellow and purple piece. So we set those. Ugh. It won't turn. Set those up and put it in. I can do this while looking at chat too. Giga Minx one-handed blindfolded. That sounds, yeah, it's, yeah, mm, it sounds. <laughs> uh, we need to find the purple and yellow and orange piece. Right there. I've given up on the whole Mega Minx commentary one-handed thing. <laughs> now we're doing silent Mega Minx one-handed. That's how I normally would do it when I'm filming a video. Because it's sped up, so no one cares. Except everybody watching me live. 300 people are watching me right now. That's stressful. <laughs> there we go. Are you going to Cuban USA Western Championships 2020? Is that, when is that? Can you give me the dates for that? And also, where is it? Is it gonna be in California every year? Because <laughs> I think it was last time. If so, then probably not. But if it's somewhere closer to here, then it's possible. I don't know what I'm even doing to this F2L pair right here. Um, where even is the piece that goes in there? is yes do one by one blind everybody's saying one by one blind I don't have a one by one over here unfortunately um, I could go and find a one by one but that would be difficult here we go and <laughs> we're at three minutes already okay this is taking longer than I thought it would
And we get the Great Cross uh, star thing. And then I don't know the so well, so we just do beginner's method. And then we... Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Uh, June 12th to 14th. 12th. Oh, so that's before um, North American Championship. So that actually works better for me. Does anybody know where it is, though? Because that would be the biggest thing. Um, yeah, we do. Somebody said 3x3 three three with elbows. I'm kind of tempted to try that. <laughs> but I don't know. And now we finish this off. Lots of loud noises upstairs. That's fun. Um, Utah. Ooh, is it in Salt Lake, I would imagine? Provo, Utah. Where is Provo, Utah? Huh. Is that closer than Salt Lake? Or is it near there, probably? Where is that? Utah Lake. Oh, it's practically Salt Lake. It's like a little bit south. Um, maybe <laughs> we have to see. I don't know. How are flights to there? How long does it take to drive there? Directions from home. Seven hours, 54 minutes. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I'll, I'll see. Solve your MF9 9x9. You see, I would do that, but it just takes so long. V cube 6 average of 5. Do I have my V cube 6? I do have my V cube 6. I can see it. I'll grab it with my feet. Oh, it does not slide along the ground because of those cube smith tiles. Your favorite non WCA puzzle. I don't know. <laughs> 9x9 is pretty cool. Alright, V cube 6 average of 5. Uh, I'm gonna do. A turn on it! There we go, one second. That was one of our solves, now we gotta do it again. Average of five turns. Kidding. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's difficult to turn. Um, Alright. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. Where can I put this? I don't care. <laughs> what is going on? And we have a cat! Yay! I can solve the cat now. Alright. Three, two, one. Cat likes whipped cream, apparently. That's that's fun. <laughs> that's magical. She actually get her to pet you, or get you get her to let you pet her. Words. We have a cat, and I can solve her. I can get her to solve things too. Cat solved three by three. Go. She solved it. Two by two. Yeah. She solved it in zero seconds. All right, <laughs> the cat is done. <laughs> Can we get something to clean this up with? <laughs> There's whipped cream on my stack mat. <laughs> that was exciting. Now we have cat hair out over everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Do, do, do. Assembly stuff. Somebody's saying assembly stuff. You want me to assemble something? What are we going to assemble? Should we assemble the V cube 6? No, I don't really want to do that. 3x3 um, with your elbows. A bunch of people have been saying that. I suppose I'll try. Where's a good 3x3? Three three? Here's a GAN. Let's get a scramble. R2, B, L, F2, D, B2, U prime, R2, U2, B2, L2, B2, U2, L prime, F prime, D prime, U2, L2, B2, U2. Alright, uh, let's 
swap this around. Be a little bit easier to do it with my elbows. <laughs> uh, everybody's saying that. So, inspection. I did this one time on a video. It did not work out very well. I'm going to move this a little bit closer. Um, I've probably gone over my inspection. Do I have to start the timer with my elbows? <laughs> All right. So we got that piece and that piece. Oh, gosh. This is slightly harder than I remember. <laughs> why? Why are you guys doing this to me? This is why I make actual video challenges. That way I can decide that they're terrible ideas and actually not do them. But I guess I'm solving this with my elbows now. I almost got the cross done. There we go. There's a cross. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying my elbow solving? Um, oh, we got a nice F12 pair already made. That's very, very kind of you, Cube, doing that. Appreciate not having to make F2L pairs with my elbows. Um, we have another piece like that. Take apart the 9x9 and put it back together. Yeah, if you want to be here for another three hours. <laughs> Destroy the super square one star. I already took it apart and put it back together in one of my last videos. I'd rather not do that again. See, sometimes it just decides it doesn't want to turn because I'm using my elbows. Ah, my hands smell like cat now. <laughs> it won't turn. Uh, ah, there we go. And we're getting a annoying F12 case next up here. So let's just do this. And then this. And then... Oh, we gotta rotate. Through by through with ears. I'm not sure that would work out so well. I don't know how this camera view is working out for you. I guess you can kind of see it in both cameras a little bit. This one's a little bit awkward. <laughs> four by four blind. I, you know what? I did that once. I am happy with doing it once. If a WCA competition comes around that I can compete in four by four blind again, I guess I'll reluctantly learn how to solve it again and try and get an official result. But other than that, I'm happy with having done it once. <laughs> That's just an exhausting event. Mentally exhausting. Destroy the super square one star. You know, the more I'm saying this, the more people are probably latching onto these ideas that I don't want to do. <laughs> uh. Last F2L well pair, it's going pretty good. Oh, if I like put my hands around my neck, it almost works a little bit better. <laughs> Use a big sail. Honestly, that would probably have been a better idea. Okay, uh, we have just a soon, that's convenient. Overall, a relatively easy solve. Happy about that. Wouldn't want to be sitting here doing a V-perm. Probably speaking too soon because I haven't gotten to PLL yet. Probably going to give me a V-perm. V-perm is honestly the worst OH and feet PLL. And presumably elbows too. Oh, I see a U-perm. Yes! Yes, this is the easiest scramble on earth. Yes, I approve of you, you perm. Gonna AUF first, and then go ahead and finish it off. Ugh. R2, you. I guess it probably would have been a better idea to do like the optimal U perm, but I'm not entirely sure on how to do that. R U R prime. Prime. Our prime. <laughs> you prime. Who's your favorite cuber that's not you? I don't know why I'm reading out these questions that I don't even know how to answer. 
I don't know. I don't watch a whole lot of cubing on YouTube nowadays. I used to a lot a long time ago. But yes! 447. That's. I feel like that's not a bad time. I'll have to go back on my old uh, cubing with elbows video and see what time I got there. Um, I think I actually did. Oh man, my live stream is playing in the background. That's funny. Good thing I don't have my desktop audio on. Uh, C3 cubing. Cubing with elbows. Let's see if I can figure out what my time was. Oh gosh, nothing is coming up. Gotta go to my channel. Elbows. <laughs> Elbow solve. This is from October 17, 2015. So over four years ago now. It took me, oh my gosh, 15 minutes and 27 seconds. Okay. I don't think I can show this to you, but can I show it to you? Maybe. Okay, I think I can. Ta-da! Solving with my elbows. There's somebody who told me to do it, and yeah, it took me... Oh, let me get this out of the way. Oh, not that out of the way. This out of the way. It took me 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 minutes. So, yeah. Very amazing video quality right there with my old, old LEGO Boys E3 logo. Got 4,000 views. Impressive, impressive. Oh, wait, no, it took me more than 13 minutes. It took me... 15 minutes? Did I give up? Oh, did I corner twist it? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I don't remember that. I corner twisted it with my elbows. <laughs> I No, I, I never got that to work. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. I got an elbow corner twist and... Okay. Do a 10 by 10 with eyes. D do you mean like me looking at it? Or do you mean like me physically using my eyeballs to turn it? I don't have a 10 by 10 anyway. Your favorite is J.R. Cuber. Yeah, he's one of the best cubing channels around nowadays. I mean, um... Oh, my camera turned off again. Darn it! I don't know why it keeps doing that. I think it does it after like 30 minutes or something. Properties... There we go. I fixed it. Fixed it quickly this time. Uh, but yeah, nowadays the top cubers on YouTube, or English speaking at least, there's RedKB, who makes good videos, but doesn't upload very often. There's Felix Zemdegs, who, I mean, he's Felix, so everybody subscribes to him. Doesn't make objectively, like, super high-quality cubing videos, but it's interesting. I'm subscribed to him. Um, I think it's JR Cuber then. He's the only one who uploads consistently and still makes a lot of really good videos. Um, and then it's Jpern? No, uh, uh, Nathan Wilson, who uploads kind of frequently. I think he just started another 30 days, 30 builds series. It's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> couldn't imagine doing that many mods at once. And then it's Jperm now, who passed me a little while back. And then it's me, who just passed Crazy Bad Cuber. I was just looking at the list the other day. But yeah, kind of interesting. Laser Monkey? Why Laser Monkey? I don't know why. Cube Rhythms. Oh, oh, people are saying their favorite Cubers. Okay, yeah, sure, cool. Cube Rhythms. A bunch of people are saying that. I honestly have hardly ever watched his videos, but I think he's gaining subscribers really quickly. Is he, like, on track to, like, pass a bunch of people like me? <laughs> I don't know. Show the list. Ooh, can I find the list? Um, speed solving. All right, um, let's go to here. <laughs> I have to move these guys out of the way every time. This is actually up uh, updated not very recently. Um, like it shows, I'm still at 165. Um, but here's, woo, I clicked on that in the wrong place. Here is the top few of them. I don't think any of them speak English. Top five don't all speak English. But then yeah, Red KB, Felix M. Diggs, J.R. Cuber, Nathan Wilson, and then Jperm has passed me since then, but I've passed Crazy Bad Cuber, so I'm number 11 overall. And we passed me Mess Open Pie, which is crazy. Tony Fisher. All these, like, <laughs> Cuban YouTubers who I used to watch, like, back in the day, I subscribed to Red KB, JR Cuber, I guess, more recently. 
Uh, I watched Nathan Wilson a lot. I was subscribed to Crazy Bad Cuba forever. Me, Myself, and Pie forever. Tony Fisher forever. <laughs> and I passed all them Oscar puzzle. Sal the King I like. Yeah. And a lot of the other ones down there. It's crazy how... I guess how far my channel has gone, and... I guess a lot of them have kind of stayed around the same place. A lot of them stopped uploading, which is kind of sad. But yeah. Let's move this back into the right corner. There we go. Um, so I'll have a one by one barrel. I think I do have my one by one barrel. Here it is. <laughs> Let's open up this view. All right. Flip this back around. Four minutes, 47 seconds. One by one barrel. Three, two. Oh, didn't reset. Three, two, one, go. Solved it in 0.14. That's pretty good time. What's, um, can you put cheese on your one by one barrel? No, I cannot. What's your opinion on using silicone oil to lo lube cubes? What's silicone oil? Do you mean like normal silicone lube? I don't know. Try it out on a cheap cube and see if it works. Um, there's a lot of like different cube lubes that you can use, but I would recommend just buying one of the normal ones um, because it'll work in a cube and you know that it's not going to do something crazy. 2x2 two two multi-blind. I already did a 2x2 two two blindfolded. That was enough for me. I actually got it successfully. Solve a 17x17. 17 17. Yeah, sure. There's somebody who has my name in the chat, which is weird. This is actually me. I'm going to say hi right now. Hi. 9 plus 10 equals 19. Um, <laughs> do you like your name, like my YouTube name, Z3 Cubing? I think it's pretty nice. I mean, it was like a boy Z3 for a while, but I think Z3 Cubing sounds nice. It works with what I do. Um, shout out. Shout out to the person who said shout out. Ha. There's so many people talking in chat. Seriously though, if you want to like ask me questions, this is the time to do it. There's like 30 minutes left in the live stream and yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of watching what people say. Can you solve your square one? I guess that's one of the WCA events I haven't done so far. Uh, the question is, can I find my square one first? Again, I have all my puzzles lying around on the ground for my collection video coming up. Um, I see a square one. It's not my main. I guess we could use that one, perhaps. Oh, no, I see my main. Found it. I think one of the magnets fell out. Maybe it's stuck right now. Uh, can we find a square one scramble? Uh, square one. All right, a scramble's gonna be three. Here, I'll just show it on screen. Do do do. Do do do. Okay, everybody race me on square one now. Only gonna have the uh, scramble up there for a minute, so. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, no. Wait, did I do that right? I hate square one scrambles. I scrambled square one at the last competition. It was rather painful. Negative five. I messed up a lot of them. I messed up a lot of them because apparently in the WCA, the square one scrambles don't always end with a slash, whereas we're at the scrambling programs I've always used, they always do end with a slash. So like at the end there's a slash there and I would always do that at the end even if there wasn't a slash on the WCA scramble. And so I'd be like, why is this not scrambled correctly? And it was like one move off, but I would like have to solve it again and redo it. And yeah, that was, that was painful. I did that like four times in a row and I was got really annoyed. And eventually I realized, um, What's your PV? Shut up and solve. Okay, let's shut up and solve. Um, duh, duh. Oh, that's really easy. Funny thing is I hate square one and I haven't practiced it forever, but I'm still like not quite as slow as I thought I'd be. Like I'm still as fast as I was when I practiced a long time ago. One of the pieces just went flying off there. I really don't care. Uh, the square one's kind of falling apart. I have parity. 
You know, when I don't get parody, at least. Oh, gosh. How do you do parody? Forgot the parody algorithm. I, like, I can muscle memory it, but just sometimes when I get locks up, lock ups like that, it just... <laughs> okay. Never mind about square one. You go over there. Um, what's your favorite brand of puzzles? Um, GE slash X-Man slash whatever else other cubes they make. Although I guess I have been using Moyu cute, like Moyu 3x3 and Game 3x3 recently. But I don't know. Android or iOS? That's a good question. I used iOS for like five years and I just got an Android phone. <laughs> Personally, I like the operating system better if that's what you're asking. Um, solve a budget cube. You know what? I got a few... Oh gosh, can I find them? Oh, here it is. I got a few... Nope. Maybe. Grab it. Of the new TE sales, I think they're sale W's recently. I meant to get black ones to do mods with, but apparently I got circulus ones. <laughs> um, actually doesn't turn all that bad. This is right out of the box, never really turned it before. Uh, what did he ask me to do? Do a solve on a budget cube? Okay, let's do a 3x3 three three solve real quick. I'll show you that it really doesn't matter that this cube is a budget cube. You can still get exactly the same times on it. Apart from maybe just not being used to the colors, because these are pretty weird colors. Um, Verbi got the scramble, got the scramble, got the scramble. When are you going to learn advanced Sarah's on Skube? Um, maybe, eventually, possibly. I keep telling myself I'm going to do that, but ugh, I don't know. Recently, I've just been doing lots of 3x3 three because, three I don't know, it seems like it's more important of an event. 3x3 three three is probably becoming my favorite event at this point just because that's the event everyone does. Uh, but yeah, I would like to learn advanced Sarah's. I just never get around to it. See, the hard thing about this right now, I mean, it is locking up a little bit more than my cube would. Hard thing is just recognizing the colors, though, because it's so different. G firm. 15.9, so with the locking up a little bit and getting some bad cases, 15.9, that's pretty much what I average. I would normally get a solve like that on a GameCube. Um, are you going to respond to comments in all caps? I don't know. What cube would you recommend for beginners? Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Just get something cheap. Once you actually get into speed cubing, and, like, this would be a good cube. Chi W costs $4 or something crazy. Uh, if you actually, like, get into speed cubing and want to be able to, like, have a good cube, I don't know. Don't ask me. Ask somebody else. There's tons of decent budget speed cubes nowadays. Um, do one hand. I don't know. Oh, so people are saying that, talking about JPerm, this guy with JPerm's logo thing in the chat, and his messages are being blocked now. <laughs> That's funny. Um, there's a bunch of messages being blocked. That's hilarious. People like spamming in all caps. It's pretty good. JPerm is the best. He has, um, like, the best tutorials, I guess, of any cuber by far. Um, I guess, uh, they're kind of different from a lot of cute tutorials that have been on YouTube for a long time. Most tutorials, like, go really slowly and make sure you understand every little bit. That's what I try and do, just, like... I get a lot of feedback from beginners who don't really like understand things, and so I have to like make sure I explain everything in a lot of detail. But he just goes like through everything really fast, and like as somebody who is more advanced cubing, like learning something like four blind, I learn from him, and it's it's really nice. Just makes really really fast tutorials and good other videos in general. Um, yeah, he only appeared. I. I Never really noticed his channel until like a year ago or something. He just kind of appeared out of nowhere and then suddenly passed me. Again, I don't watch a lot of Cuban YouTubers nowadays. <laughs> um, are you sponsored? Um, I mean, the cubicle sends me puzzles to test. I got the cubicle dot definitely com right there. Cubicle dot com. Uh, they sent me 
or they're uh, sponsoring my giveaway of $200 for 200,000 subscribers. Again, click the link down in the description once this video is over and enter the giveaway. So yeah, I'm spo not really, kind of sponsored. Yeah, I guess sponsored. <laughs> um, where can I find a good F2L tutorial? Um, check out, uh, it depends. If you're more of a beginner, check out mine. If you can learn quickly, check out JPerms. <laughs> I don't know. His tutorial is probably equally good for beginners, but it goes a little bit faster. Mine's a little bit more detailed. Just depends on how you learn, I guess. Um, what do you think of Norway? Norway is a country. That's what I think. Uh, what method do you use on 2x2? Ortega. I haven't bothered learning CLL or anything because I don't really care about 2x2. 2x2 through 5x5 relay. Oh gosh. I don't want to solve a 5x5. Did you meet Felix Zemdegs in all caps? Um, I have met him once. Didn't really talk to him. I got his signature. Uh, what else was I going to talk about? What do you think about Ikea? Ikea is a store. <laughs> Send me a GAN, says somebody over and over again. No, that's not how it works. Um, <laughs> these comments are so bad. Are you going to ask like any decent questions any time ever? How many... What? <laughs> Solve a skew with your eyes closed. I tried that, and then I gave up. Send me a MoYu. That's also not how it works. Um, what's your PB on 3x3? 9.6 something. <laughs> oh, this chat is so bad. Just people spamming over and over again. Same dumb comments. Do a clock blind. Um, that wouldn't actually be too hard. You'd basically just be able to memorize like a bunch of string of numbers. But I also don't feel like doing that. Do a two through four relay. People want me to do a relay. And I really have nothing else to do right now. We have 20 more minutes, so... Perhaps we should do... Two through four? Two through five, perhaps? Why not? Let's just end this with a... <laughs> Reluctant 2 through 5 relay. Okay, so let's get a timer out. 2x2 two two scramble. Okay, so this is going to be like a really big thing. We're going to like actually do it, and we're going to do it really fast. So everybody, get your 2x2 two two through 5x5 five five and scramble them along with me right now. This is going to be really awesome. 2 through 7 relay. Yeah, right. So I'm going to get rid of the 2x2 two two scramble in a minute here. Make sure you have it ready. Get it scrambled, get it scrambled, get it scrambled. And on to 3x3. Three three. I'll do the same scrambles, and it will be epic. Alright, moving on to 4x4. Four four. Give you like 10 seconds. <laughs> Week with a cuber with another $2. I don't know where you're getting all this money. Says, remember to join the Discord. <laughs> I will look into that because you donated. <laughs> Oh, is this my 4x4 main? Uh, I guess it is. Uh, really hard to do commentary while scrambling and especially solving when you're focused on something. It makes you just do it slower. I don't know. <laughs> 4x4 scramble. I'll give you like 10 more seconds on that. <laughs> Can you collab with JPerm? I don't know. I haven't really done many sort of collaboration things with anybody ever. A few times, but like, I don't know. If there was a good idea to do it, to do together, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> How do you enter giveaway? Click the link in the description. Solve two by two. I'm going to be doing that soon. In this relay, we're moving on to the five by five now. Everybody get your 2x2 two two through 5x5 five five scrambled up. 
and we will see who is the ultimate champion of the live stream. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. L, F, U, D, T, U, D, L prime, B, T, U, L, W, D, W prime, U, F, W. Okay, saying letters intensely it makes you go a lot slower too. D, T, U, T, B, O, B, U, D, T, F, Okay, I'm gonna give you like 15 more seconds on that 5x5 five five scramble and then I'm going to begin. Everybody should start at the same time. Um, I'm gonna change over to, where is my mouse? <laughs> change over to the screen in a second. And we're going to do this, we have 15 seconds of inspection. I'm gonna do this, okay, this is gonna be amazing. You guys all ready? Okay, I'm gonna begin in three, two, one, inspection. Look at all the cubes, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the three by three first, just cause that sounds easier. Okay, and go. Can't really say anything during this, it's too intense. I just learned how to do that F2L pair nicelier. Except I kind of forgot how to do it, and now I'm just saying things. Oh, that was a few little skip. Okay, that was amazing. Uh, oh, I haven't done four by four in forever. Can we solve it fast? Still, probably not. And. So intense. I'm probably solving really slowly. You guys better be doing this with me. See how fast you can do it too. Um, the, where's the piece? Okay, I'm moving on to five by five next. That's gonna be a struggle. Uh, that way. Oh, that one too. And then like that. <laughs> this is probably a really slow. It's probably like a minute thirty on the four by four. And of course we get parity. And just watch, we're gonna get PLL parity too. Oh no, we didn't. Okay, <laughs> that's nice. I jinxed it, but in a good way. Uh, five by five. Duh, what am I doing? I am slow. <laughs> Anybody finished yet? <laughs> that Felix would be max. <laughs> oh gosh. Big cube look ahead is not my thing today. Where's that piece? Oh, there it is. I'm sure some people are done with their relay by now. Post your times. Anybody? F12. And 
and confirm. 339, that's like, I feel like the world record 7x7, 2 through 7 relay is like 4 minutes or something crazy like that. 339, how does that compare to like my normal solves? So 2x2 two two I can do in like 5 seconds, that doesn't really matter. 15, so that's like 20, that would be like 1, one or 110, so that's like 130 total. And then 5x5, five five, just under 2. So ideally I would average like 330? Yeah, so like 320, 330. That's not that terrible of a time. Just like another extra 20 seconds on these two cubes. Better than I thought it would be. Look at my donation. <laughs> well, the most recent donation I can't, I can't see because of YouTube. Um, we go the cuber says, I'm famous. He says, someone said... Wait, what? Someone said, if I don't, don't donate, I get sub. One is 17 by 17. That makes no sense. Remember to join Discord. Yeah, okay, sure, I made a Discord. Uh, oh, okay, okay, I, I got it. <laughs> 483 total. 483? How do you get 483? Is that like 523 or something? Someone got 322, so they definitely beat me. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with this time. I could definitely do a lot better, but 426, okay, everybody's still beating me. But like, they're not beating me my as much. Uh, as they were on 3x3, three three, so pretty happy with that. Um, <laughs> Gigaminks, Gigaminks. People want to see a Gigaminx. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I do have my Gigaminx. Okay, um, I'm done with that. That's funny. They all ended up in like the same orientation except the 2x2 two two was off by one. <laughs> They're all the exact same colors. It's funny. Um, Gigaminx, one sec. Ugh. We got a Gigaminx. It's missing a piece. I originally, when I finished my, whatchamacallit, my, hey guys, and welcome back to video, um, I lost, I think, three pieces. I found one of them pretty quickly to the barrel, and then there were two more of them on here, and I found one of them just digging around behind some, uh, whatchamacallit shelf, um, but I'm still missing this one green piece right here. I know it has to be somewhere over there around all my puzzles, but I just I don't know where it went. I'll have to find one. Maybe I can get a replacement somewhere. I don't know. There are no good replacement part stores nowadays. Even the ones that, the stores that do offer replacement parts still, they don't have any of the puzzles that I want replacement parts for. Um... Look it up. Look what up. Fighting the piece. <laughs> Do a minx relay. So, kill a minx, mega minx, giga minx. I think it would be really cool to have like the the master kill a minx. So like one layer below a giga minx, one layer above a mega minx, and then also they have like a I don't know what it's called, like the double master giga minx, <laughs> master kill a minx, whatever it's called. Uh, but like there's a two by two, the kill, kill a minx, the three by three, the mega minx. The Master Killer Minx is a 4x4, four four. this is a 5x5 five five Gigaminx. And then there's also, I think, a 6x6. Six six. There's the Terraminx 7x7. Seven seven. I think there's also the 8x8 eight eight version, which is some ridiculous Killer Minx. And then there's the 9x9 nine nine, um, Petaminx. And I think Shangxiao makes all of those nowadays, which is really cool. It'd be awesome to have all the Shangxiao Minxes. But some of them are like 200 bucks each, which is like way too much. I would probably buy just like the Petaminx on its own because that's a really cool puzzle, but I just, I don't know, I haven't had anything interesting to do with it yet, but I would like to do that. Um, when you were announcing the giveaway winners, again, look at the video in the description. It has all the information about the giveaway, including when it's announced, which is a week from yesterday. It's next Friday. Are you doing the 2020 cube relay for 2020 at the end of the year? Um, so last year I did 2019, so 2x2, two 0x0, by 1x1, two, zero by zero, 9x9. By nine by nine. Um, <laughs> this year it would be a 2x2, two two, a 0x0, zero zero, a 2x2, two two, a 0x0. Zero zero. <laughs> I think I might do something else interesting with the numbers 20 and 20. 
maybe like 23 by threes multiple times or something. I don't know, we'll see. Um, <laughs> um, where can I get merchandise? Again, link in the description brings you to a video and all the information about the giveaway and merch and all that kind of stuff, all in the description of that video. So it's on Teespring. I'll, I'll put it in the link, I'll put it in the description of this video once we're done here in a few minutes, but for right now it's not there. But yeah, just go to the link in the description and you'll be able to find it from there. Um, are you going to Western Championships in Pro Utah? Potentially. We'll see. What's your favorite video you have made? My Nationals video from this year, US Nationals 2019. I bought merch as we go the Cuber. Awesome. Uh, what's your 5x5 average? I think it's just under 2. Maybe like 150. I don't know. Check out my WCA profile. I see you, Tim. Be quiet. Um, <laughs> do you have a 10 by 10 No, I don't. Um, <laughs> all right, we have <laughs> ended up with all the terrible comments that I didn't want to answer earlier that are just being repeated over and over again. Yeah, okay, we have like five minutes left. What should we do in the last five minutes? First decent comment, I will do it. Solve a one by one unironically. I don't think I have a one by one except for the one by one barrel. Um, I don't know. I don't think this was very ironic. Oh, I didn't even touch it. That was a DNF. 0.07, I didn't touch it again. What am I doing? 0.08. I think that's my one by one barrel PB. Um. Two by two blind one hand. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Six by six assembly. I don't want to disassemble something. I mean, I was joking about disassembling the Shang Shao. No, my camera! No! It died again! I was joking about disassembling the Shang Shao? Shang Shao V Cube. That's what it's called. The V Cube 6 earlier. Um. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. There we go. I fixed it. Apparently it just turns off every 30 minutes. I told it not to turn off. Like, I specifically went into the settings and everything. Um, but yeah. I do have a V-Cube 6. I want to see it. how wonderful this cube turns. If we just do the middle layer here. Can we get it to disalign? Oh yeah, here we go. Here is the wonder of the V-Cube 6. I just turned the middle layer, just naturally just turned it there and back. And now it doesn't turn. Like, that is wonderful. Best cube design of the century. I love it. You can turn it on this layer, but just not, not right here, because the inner layer is way off. There we go. <laughs> Let's do a speed solve, like, J-perm on it. Seven seconds. Okay, let's do a serious G perm. Wrist turns are the way to go. Oh wait, I forgot how to do a J perm. <laughs> that was slower. Okay. Um, okay, so we have like two more minutes. Um, you know what we should do? We should do this, and then do this, and then do this, and then it's not falling apart. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. I enjoyed it. Um, I have to reassemble a 6x6 now. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.